Okay, so uh, I'm going to go over a simple lambda expression, simple example of a lambda expression. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new composable. Okay, so we're going to create this composable in uh, the body of the main activity because there's a reason uh, I will explain in a moment. Um, okay. So what I want to do is I want to create a button which after a thousand milliseconds it outputs something on the screen. Okay. <clears throat> so in, what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to use the lambda, what I pass to the lambda, and um, you know where the expression of the lambda comes in. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass a parameter called text to the button. This has nothing to do with the lambda expression. This is just the text that I want on the button itself. Then I'm going to create a lambda expression called callback. Okay. And so what I'm going to do with this callback is I'm going to pass one parameter here. I can pass two parameters to the callback um, if I really needed to. But I'm just going to pass one. Um, and uh, you'll see exactly how I how this is implemented. But what I'm going to do in the composable, I'm going to get an instance of the context. Again, not part of the expression part. And then I'm going to use a standard button. Now, this button already has an on-click uh, lambda expression associated with it, an on-click callback. Don't worry about that. What we're going to do, I'm, we're going to use our custom lambda expression to, uh, pa to pass um, the value. Actually, we don't even need this, I think. We're going to use our custom lambda expression to pass, uh, uh, to, to, to pass the functionality to the onclick from outside of the special button. So if we have, uh, let's see, I'm going to call back, call back, uh, and I'm going to put it, uh, it, let's see if this works. Oh, no, no, wait, sorry, I'm, I made, made a mistake there. So I'm going to pass this here. Hello. Okay. So this is the parameter that I'm passing to the callback. Okay. This, the way th this callback again is uh, the function that we are calling. We haven't in this special button to define any custom behavior for this function. Okay. All we've done is we've passed a parameter. Um, we could pass another parameter from outside the function too, but I'm just going to say hello here. I'm just going to give this button some text, okay? And then what I'm going to do, now I'm going to use my special button too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give it some text, press me, and then I'm going to define my callback here. This is my lambda expression. So in line, I have one parameter. If I had another parameter here, then if I did this, then I have two parameters here, it one, it two, and then both of these I could use for something, okay? Um, but for now, again, I have one parameter. So I only have one it. It doesn't matter, it is just an alias. It is the just the, a reference to the per, this parameter here. Um, so what do I wanna do now? Okay, now here is where I'm going to define the behavior. Remember, the whole point here of the lambda expression is you pass behavior, okay? That's the thing. I'm passing a behavior to my code, okay? And what is the behavior? So, so as I said in the beginning, I want to be able to, after 20 seconds, or uh, one second, I want to um, output... Uh, some text. I want to print this text that I passed in this it parameter to the screen. 
so toast, uh, make text, context, uh, and then it toast dot length long show. Now, don't worry about this lifecycle scope. Uh, we're not going to go into that too much now. But essentially, what I want to do here is um, now we're going to try to run this. OK. By the way, uh, we'll call this it1 here. There's this thing called shadowing. Um, this also has a parameter called it by default uh, because it's a lambda uh, itself. Uh, don't worry about that. Just for now, um, we're going to this is this whole block here is the the kernel of the lambda. This is what I'm doing, right? So if I imagine what I do is just just imagine what I'm doing here. I'm taking this and I'm literally saying that I would I'm taking this out of here. I'm literally just saying here is what I would do the same thing. I would just, I'm passing this functionality there. But the point of doing it this way is so that I can have something called a callback, meaning I can define a component that's independent of a function. So if I wanted to create another special button too, right, with a different function, press, press u, I can diff have the special button to do something completely different. I don't need it to do the same thing as special button two here, and this is much more. Um, this is much better because I don't have to uh, create uh, a, a whole new special button three. I can just reuse special button two, uh, whatever, um, and I can just uh, like I can do something like delay. Um, 10,000, 1,000, it doesn't matter really. The point is I can just give it something completely different to pass. So this is this is just the useful, uh, the, the reason why you want to use, you want to be able to modularize, modularize the concept of functionality. So let's run this thing. And if I run my emulator, So that's a huge button, right? <laughs> we didn't give it any design. So see, after a second, it printed out hello. Okay, that's that's exactly in special button two. If I give it another special button and I say press me, and I say uh, output. Um, see, I wanted to output uh, not the text that passed into it. I wanted to output um, press. Okay. So let's see, uh, I'm going to put this in a column, get rid of, rid of this greeting, uh, column, you could make a lazy column to scroll it, but whatever, it doesn't matter. These, you'll see, you'll run this again, press me, the press me one said hello, but press me two has a completely different functionality which said press, okay, again. That's why I would, this is how. So remember, the parts of the lambda expression here are the lambda expression itself, the name of it, the parameter plural or plural that you pass to it, the return value here. This is another thing. Um, usually with uh, lambda expressions, uh, we return a unit. You don't have to. Those are more complex, um, essentially invocables. We don't you know that's more advanced and not necessarily the not the most important thing for now uh, we'll usually pass a unit and then wherever we call callback we can call callback twice also you know the whole point is like i can you know i i can port this functionality as many times i can put this in a loop and call it 10 times in a row you know um so this is where i call the callback and then um this the the next part is the actual functionality that i'm passing Okay, so uh, this is these are the four parts of how you would um, you know where you would create a lambda expression and how you would create a lambda expression.